mob boss comes forward with powerful message for Trump. President Trump has found an unlikely ally in the battle against America's enemies. I would kill them all, explains Ralph Natale, nonchalantly. The former Philadelphia mob boss sat down with Fox News to discuss what he considers the greatest threat facing America today, terrorism. Ralph Natale was tapped to lead the Philadelphia branch of the mob in the 1990s and was the top boss until the feds caught up with him in 2005 when he was sentenced to 13 years in prison. Natale is now a free man and he has written a tell-all memoir detailing his life of crime. However, at 82 years old, Ralph Natale is starting to worry about the future he is leaving for his grandchildren. The warning signs of the incoming radical Islamic invasion are all around us, Natale explains, but we are acting like pussycats afraid to do what it takes to end terrorism today. Ralph Natale offered his services to President Trump to lead a small team dedicated to hunting down terrorists. I could make a nice living, and I would enjoy it, he exclaimed. The former mob boss is accustomed to violence and believes that terrorists are fair game. Natale says that, if he had his way, dead terrorists would be hanging from trees as warnings to others. The advice may be blunt and gruesome, but the crime lord has a point. Terrorist organizations like ISIS were forged in war zones and only understand shows of force. Sympathizing with our enemy and opening our borders will get us nowhere. We need to take the fight to them. Terrorists are quickly learning how easy it is to take advantage of our increasingly pussycat culture. By utilizing a few liberal buzzwords such as Islamophobia or bigot, radical Muslims have been able to slip into our countries and commit acts of terror recruit others to do so. While Natale is extreme in his proposed solution, we would be wise to at least heed his warning. We need to implement President Trump's travel ban immediately and increase our efforts fighting terror abroad. Our generation will be remembered for how we stand up against the growing terrorist threat. Will we fight back and preserve Western society, or will we be remembered as the last of our kind before the Islamic invasion? Watch more video below.